In this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to get started making your own internet TV show using VidBlaster. So, as you can see, I'm on a Mac here. Uh, VidBlaster runs on Windows only, but I actually happen to have a brand new clean install of XP here running in uh, virtualization on VMware Fusion. So, that's going to work just fine for what we want to do. Get started. We'll open up our browser and we're going to go to vidblaster.com. There it is. I've been here before, as you can see. Okay. Now, to download the trial, I find the easiest way is to just go straight to the support category here and then click to forum. And that'll take you to the forum where down a little bit lower down the page, you can see a category called download. Go into Downloads, and 309 is the current version. It's the highest one up here, so that's the one we're going to trial for this video tutorial. Lots of new additions added in 3.9. Uh, to download the new Vid Blaster, click here. So that's what we want. We're going to click that. Download the trial. It's a fully functioning trial, which is awesome. Thank you, Mike, for giving us the opportunity to try your program without any restrictions other than a, a watermark in the top right hand corner. That's excellent. So as you can see, we're downloading now. It's coming in pretty quickly. Okay, now VidBlast is downloaded. We can close out of Firefox altogether. We don't need that anymore. And you can see here, we've got set up VidBlaster. We're going to go into our virtual machine that I've just created and drag VidBlaster over so it copies in. And there it is. Now we're going to double click it. Next. Yes, we agree with the terms and conditions of the trial. Next. We're going to install in the default directory. And as I don't have that directory, yes, VidBlaster can create that for me. Go ahead. And there it is, we're all done. We can exit out of the installer, double click the VidBlaster icon that's just been created to start the program. Now when it starts, it's gonna look for a key, which I don't have, this is a trial version. So as soon as I don't have a key, it'll just take a minute to open up. And when it does, in the top right hand corner of our preview window, you'll see the little VidBlaster add overlay, which in my opinion is, is not intrusive too much. And uh, I'm, I'm certainly happy to have that there while I trial the software. So this is the default window. As you can see, um, at this point, I might uh, maximize this. So we're just looking entirely at the XP screen here and not any of the Windows, uh, sorry, excuse me, any of the Mac desktop. So straight away, down here, it's got a window for the camera. So I'm going to click that and see if it's detected my USB camera. It has. So I'm going to click this to... Tell it that's the camera I want to use, and there we go. It's picked up the camera. There's my little preview window to see that uh, what's actually coming off the camera in real time. This window here is the program window. Whatever happens in this window is what your viewers are going to see, or if you're recording and, as opposed to streaming, this is what is going to be on your program. So if I want to send this preview camera, if I want to look at that actually live in the program, I just simply click it. And there we go. It's as easy as that. Other things that you can do straight away in the demo program without any other, uh, a, a, without having to perform any other actions. If you want to see what an overlay looks like, it could be a lower third or a graphic. Straight away, there's one selected here. We just click its window and it fades in nicely over the top of the video feed there. So that could be a subtitle. To remove it, we just click it again and it'll disappear. There are, as you can see here, some other graphics that you can put down. We've got a nice blue one there, so we'll pick that one, which is cool. Take it off our feed, just like that. Uh, what else have we got here? Text PNG. Let's see what that one is. Okay, this is a good one. This is a, a blank one here, so if we wanted to add a title, let me just make this a little bit bigger here so we can see more. So as you can see, we've got a nice blank lower third there. And if we want to add some text to it, we just simply put our cursor in this box here and type my name, Greg Lee. 
How easy is that? To remove it, we just click it. That stays in the, the memory of the program. If we want to run it up again at a later time, just click on it again. And uh, it's as easy as that. What we're going to do now is have a look at a video. Now this is telling me that audio is unavailable because it's, I haven't yet told it, as we told it, which camera we want it to use. We also need to tell it which audio device we want it to use. So I'm just going to right click that audio device, Creative Sound Blaster. There we go. And it's picked that so it'll be quite happy to play some audio now. I'm just going to turn that down for the moment. The next thing we've got down here is a player and uh, the author has included a little video for us uh, and to watch that just simply click on it, it'll fade in and it's going to play. Power. There Power. we go. Blaster. And there's how you play a video. Now I actually haven't, if we right click on that here we've got a, a thing saying play on take. Now that's not checked by default so I've clicked that. Let me just go back to this one, which is our live preview again. So by click, clicking play on take, now all I do is just click on that and it'll just start playing without me having to press play button. We also have down here stills, which is just your, your pictures, any pictures you may want to include. So to click that, we get to see our pictures. And uh, if you've got them in order there, you can scroll through them. Next, previous. Uh, like any other thing, any other module, if you want to add pictures to your feed on the fly, you just right click it, click open, and you can see there, there's a, a graphic that I've just chosen at random. Okay, there you go, it's an audio feed only. So that's how quick and easy it is to add media on the fly while you're actually producing your show. Up here is a module called the Streamer. Um, what this does is it streams your feed out to streaming services like Ustream or Justin TV. Uh, if you want to record your show, you can add a module called the Recorder, uh, which is a pretty simple. You just tell it where you want it to save and you just press record to start, stop to stop. Very, very simple. Now, just to show you again how quickly and easy it is to get things up and running, we'll go back to that video feed there so you can see my happy smiling face. Uh, with being this being a virtual machine with a, a brand new XP virtual machine, there's no codex. XP does not know how to process this MP4 file that I've got in the top right hand corner here. So I'm just going to drag that over, drop it in. And as you can see, we'll just move VidBlaster down for a second. There's nothing associated with the MP4 file. Windows does not know how to play that. But what's really cool again about VidBlaster, we're going to go into our player window, right click it, open, and I want to show you that video that my friend Gina has made with her band. Go to desktop, and there it is there. Open that. Okay, now to play my video, all I do is just click that window, and away it goes. This words of a man in a rage The broken wire of a message mislaid So as you can see, very, very easy to get VidBlaster going straight away from an install on a clean machine with virtually nothing. You can straight away start producing and mixing and seeing and understanding how easy it is with VidBlaster to make your own internet TV show web show or vidcast, whatever you want to call it.